Creighton in the Big Ten, number two in the state, two-time winner over CBA already this season. Nothing like a little pressure, right? Begin in part three of its series with CBA tonight. In the double A finals at the Times Union Center, the brothers fans out in force as usual. McGinn well represented as well. CBA game, something to cheer about. Malcolm Austin off his own free throw miss gets to put back 8 3. McGinn comes back though, 10 2 sprint of their own, including the Toronto Bowie steal and two handed slam on to close the first quarter. Coming right back though, with the brothers on the lead, a three pointer from the wing. And then again, it's the Griffs closing the half on a 7-0 run. Shymeek Johnson this time with a two-hander plus the foul. Oh, that looked like it hurt. 25-20 McGinn at the half. Second half, all Griffins. Bowie this time in the giving end. The nice wraparound pass to James Torres. The lead ballooning to nine. Then the highlight of the night, Shymeek Johnson. Oh, but guess what? It didn't count. It was an offensive foul. Nice dunk anyways. Bishop McGinn wins it 71-51. Fox 23, Scott Morlock says this was as complete an effort as it gets. Tonight's game wasn't so much a matter of if or how poorly CBA played, but just how well Bishop McGinn did play in capturing back-to-back double-A -back crowns. This team was focused. You know, we had a goal set at the start of the year, and you know, when you get that X put on your back at the start of the season, we got everybody's best shot. But I have a great group of kids. They're very resilient. Uh, I'm just, and I'm so proud of them because they they worked hard for this. Coach just said to be able to win back-to-back -back is going to be the hardest thing to do. To be able to beat a team three times is going to be the hardest thing to do. But if we play our game and have fun, it will be a great game. We know they were going to come out tough, and we, we had obviously had a big lead at their place, and we let it slip out. Coach told us if we get a lead this time, don't let it slip out, and we just kept building on it. Next up for the Golden Griffs, Syracuse Henninger out of Section Three. They will face them Saturday at Hudson Valley in the state regionals. At the Times Union Center, Scott Morlock, Fox 23 Sports.